Hi, it's Kerry here. Today I'm just looking at lots of cute baby animals. There are so many to choose from. Give a thumbs up if you like baby animals. Can you tell me how many tiger cubs you see today? The Indian elephant. The Asian elephant or Indian elephant is slightly smaller than the African elephant and has small rounded ears. An elephant's trunk is actually a long nose with many functions. It is used for smelling, breathing, trumpeting, drinking and also for grabbing things. Elephants are herbivores and use their tusks to dig for roots and water, strip bark from trees and even fight each other. Another Indian elephant. They have a finger-like feature on the end of their trunk that they can use to grab small items. The Asian or Indian elephant has been domesticated for thousands of years. These powerful beasts have been employed to move heavy objects such as felled trees or to carry humans on their back and even used in war. Oh, look at that, they're linking up tails. The African elephant. You can see the larger ears here. Wow, that's a noise. A female elephant gives birth to a calf every two to four years. At birth, elephants already weigh 200 pounds or 91 kilograms and are three feet or one meter tall. Uh oh, we're gonna get sprayed. <laughs> elephants flap their ears to keep cool and are fond of water and enjoy sucking water into their trunks and spraying it over themselves and anyone else. Red deer calf. Most deer are born with white spots but lose them within a year. Deer take their first steps within half an hour of their birth. Young deer will usually stay with their mother for around a year. The stags generally move away from the herd in a year or two, whereas the hinds stay with the mother and become part of the herd. The blue wildebeest baby. Calves are born in February and March each year at the beginning of the rainy season. A calf eats its first grass at about 10 days although it still relies on its mother for at least four months. Calves learn to walk within minutes of birth and follows its mother and stays close to her to avoid getting lost or killed by waiting predators. Within days they are able to keep up with the herd. Female giraffes give birth standing up. The newborns are welcome to the world with a one and a half meter drop to the ground. But these infants are quick to get on their feet. Within 30 minutes they are standing and only hours later they're able to run with their mothers. They get most of their water from their leafy meals and only need to drink once every few days. Being tall is helpful for keeping a lookout for predators such as lions and hyenas. Their excellent eyesight allows them to spot hungry beasts from far away. The tapir calf. A calf can stand one or two hours after birth. 
Tapir cars look like brown and beige striped watermelons on legs. This colour pattern is great camouflage in the forest. The calf begins to lose these markings after a few months and when the youngster is about six months old it looks like a miniature adult. Tapir calves can swim at a very young age. He's smelling something there. So cute. So this is a Baird's tapir. Baby crocodiles hatch from eggs. Nests are built on the water's edge from sand and mud and weeds and they are really just shallow holes. These nests are only a few inches high. A crocodile egg is about the size of a goose egg. The temperature of the nest determines the gender of the baby. When the mother crocodile hears the grunts of her babies, she hopes the hatchlings push out of the nest. The babies themselves get out of the eggs using their egg tooth. When born, a baby crocodile is about 8 inches or 20 centimetres long. The grizzly bear cub. You can recognise grizzly bears by the hump on their back and the white tipped fur on their shoulders and back. The hump is made of muscles. Cubs will stay with their mothers for 2-4 to four years. She is very protective and if you get near her cubs she can easily kill you. Cubs can climb trees when they are young. After a few years they'll lose this ability because of their long claws. Grizzly bears can swim well, run fast and have good eyesight and an extremely good sense of smell. The Indian Rhinoceros Cub Indian rhinos only have one horn. They have sharp hearing and a keen sense of smell. Their top charge speed is 30 miles or 48 kilometers per hour. And they can jump or change direction quickly. This rhinoceros has a special lip that can grasp tall grass. African white rhinoceros baby. Both black and white rhinoceroses are actually grey. They are different not in colour but in lip shape. The black rhino has a pointed upper lip while its white relative has a squared lip. The difference in lip shape is related to the animal's diets. Indian rhinoceros has a segmented hide which looks like a coat of body armour. Flexible skin between the thicker hide plates allows them to move as the rhinoceros walks. Rhinos like to eat grass, fruit, leaves and farm crops. White tiger cub. A white tiger's pale coloration is due to the lack of the red and yellow pigments that normally produce the orange color, and they are smaller in size to other tigers. 
The gene that causes this is only present in about 1 in every 10,000 tigers. It does make it hard for them to survive without the usual tiger colourings as camouflage. They can't hide from predators so well and when they go after prey they can be easily seen. Three tiger cubs. These baby tigers or cubs are nursed by their mother. Most litters are made up of two to four young. Tiger cubs are born blind and are completely dependent on their mother. The tiger cubs eyes will open sometime between 6 to 12 days. However they do not have their full vision for a couple of weeks. It is only after two months that they begin eating meat until they are completely weaned. Tiger cubs leave their mother when they're around two years of age. Tiger cubs begin to hunt with their mother and siblings between the age of eight and ten months. The tigress is primarily concerned with teaching her young how to hunt and protect themselves. Ostrich chick. Each herd has one big nest where all the eggs are laid. This way the entire herd can help to protect the eggs. Ostrich eggs are the biggest eggs of any animal at an average of around three pounds. The ostrich is the largest bird in the world. Even though it has wings it can't fly but it makes up for the lack of flight by running very fast. They can also use their strong legs to kick a predator using their 4 inch long claws on their feet. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon. Remember to count the tiger cubs. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture. Subscribe, like and share. Thank you.